right, good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday, and I'm out in the woods for a proper bobcat hunt. Now that we've moved past December 1st, it is officially the harvest season. So if we get one tree today, there's a really good chance we're gonna take it home with us. I got my, my core six pack. I got Cooley and Rue and the four blue puppies. I just got them all collared up. We'll let them run around for a minute and then we're gonna get going. All right, Cooley just struck and took off hauling butt down the road. So they're smelling something pretty hot, I'm thinking. To be smelling it on the road like this, especially. And we're up high enough that we're starting to run into some snow. I don't know if there's going to be any fresh snow, but that'd be kind of cool if there was. Ruse opening too. Huh. All right, so Cooley and Rue, they struck off the road here and then ran up the road uh, probably like half a mile to three quarters of a mile. And then they bailed off into this really brushy little thicket area. And they're working this area over. And I'm wondering if there's a cat in a tree around here somewhere. I'm gonna let them keep working on it, but. But Cooley seems pretty convinced that it's around here somewhere. And this is, this race is reminding me of that training opportunity video that I put up before this one, um, where, you know, they had, I mean, it was a, per, it was kind of a set up opportunity, but Those other dogs, those are the puppies barking in the box. Um, but this reminds me exactly of, you know, a couple weeks ago when we treed that bobcat, thanks to my mentor. Um, but I think it, I think it skipped out of here. I think that it might be, we might need to head back up this road some more. Huh. But yeah, it was, they were circling up in, in this little, this thicket down here. Uh, but I'm not seeing it, and these are pretty, pretty bare trees. I feel like I would see it pretty quickly, but maybe not. Okay, while they're moving up the road, I'm going to go get back in the truck and drive up further.
All right, so didn't see anything in those trees. Uh, I looked for a little like 10 minutes or so. And cooling roof, yeah, they came back up on the road and just started moving back up the road. So I guess we're just moving onward. Really hoping that they had something tree just then. Or had put something up a tree. I, you know. So we could find it. But that did not happen. And that's just how it goes. Oh well, still exciting. And these puppies are in uh, garbage hunting mode. See what kind of snacks the loggers left behind for them. Okay, so I had some snow, I just put my truck in four-wheel drive and pretty sure these are dog tracks. Either dog tracks or coyote tracks. There's a lot of people who hound hunt up here, so I wouldn't be surprised. It's kind of weird that there's no, um, no tire tracks along with them. So I'm leaning towards coyote. And I don't want my dogs messing with coyotes, so we'll see what happens. All right, so we've covered a lot of ground so far today. Uh, I think Cooling Roof gone about 13 miles on the road. Um, but that last little bit of excitement where I thought they, you know, possibly put something up a tree and then just couldn't find it, that's really all the excitement we've had today. So, so yeah, we're in a good area, but uh, just not having the best luck, but how it goes well it's been kind of an uneventful last couple of hours we've just been driving around and uh, that little fern right there is the most interest they, these dogs have had in anything so I don't know what's going on I just talked to my mentor over the radio and he's in a similar area or he's about I don't know, he's probably 10 miles from where I'm at right now. And uh, they didn't catch anything either. So that's usually a good indication that uh, the cats are not moving around very much. Hey, Cooley, what do you got? Is that a Cheeto? In the quarter miles. Okie dokie. We are on our way out of the woods. But I'm taking a little loop that I usually take. <laughs> I'm taking a loop that I usually take to get out of here uh, because it's a great great road to road the puppies on so I'm just going one at a time with each of the puppies uh, letting them run with Cooley and Rue and Bruno is up first and he's out in front <laughs> gotta feel good to run if you're a young puppy or young dog Got to feel good to run. Cooley and Rue are, they're ready to go home and go to sleep. They've ran over 20 miles today and they're still going. They wouldn't be going as fast as they are right now if Bruno wasn't racing, racing ahead because they were just basically sleeping in the box. I woke them back up. <laughs> All right, so I just put, I just let Bruno road for about three quarters of a mile. And I swapped him out with Clover. 
and then I put Bruno up on the box. He's clipped in up there, and oh, he just stood up. He was laying down before, but yeah, that's good. This is his first time riding on the box. Um, and it took Cooley a long time to get comfortable up there, so... Well, it'll be interesting to see how he how he likes riding on the box. Right, he's looking good though. He's standing up. That's that's a good for start. He did really good on the road. Clover's doing great on the road now too. They do good when they're one at a time with the big dogs. Every time I've put two or more out when they're roading like this. Uh, well, last time I did it, Clover and Bruno, they took off down the road to go in the opposite direction for some strange reason. And, uh, yeah, they got away from me really fast. But I caught them. But when I'm just running one at, one at a time, they do really good. <laughs> oh, he's barking. All right, so I did what I said I wasn't going to do, <laughs> which is put two puppies out at once with Cooley and Rue. But I got Pip and, and Tika out together because they do really good roading and they're buddies. They like to do everything together. So, yep, and they're hauling butt. And then, I have Bruno and Clover up on the box. Oh, Rue thinks he smells something. Good boy, Pip. Go on. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, Pippi. Let's go, buddy, go. Oh, Cooley and River smelling something good. And honestly, Tika and Pip are smelling all the same stuff. That's awesome. Oh, and they're gone. All right, so we roded all the puppies. Pip and Tika, they got to road at the same time, and they were running with Cooley and Rue. And now uh, I got Cooley and Rue up here. We're just gonna drive out, and maybe they'll strike something. Bruno here, and Clover, who's also right there. Clover and Bruno, they did a pretty good job riding on the box. Very good dogs. And Rue's doing an amazing job today. Oh, buddy, you're doing a great job. Yeah, you've ran like 20 some miles, dude. Can you even believe it? Wow. Cooley's doing good. She's slowing down because she's ran so far today. But we still got a little ways to hunt, so. All right, well, that concludes another day of bobcat hunting in the great coast range of Oregon. Um, overall, it was a pretty uneventful day. Um, we had a little bit of excitement when Cooley and Rue, they were, they were wide open, running a track, um, kind of dead-ended, went and looked in the trees, we didn't see anything, so... Uh, just headed on after that, and yeah, ended up covering a lot of ground. Cooley and Rue ran, I think, like 21 miles each um, around there, and then they rode on top of the dog box for quite a while too. Um, but yeah, now we're going home and eat some food.